Good amount of cloud cover with our Cooper Island webcam as we started off our Wednesday morning and see those clouds pushing on through associated with some rain showers as well. We'll be seeing more numerous showers over the course of these next few days. You can see the wind whipping a bit too as the showers push on through and the rain comes on down. It sometimes actually brings down some stronger winds, so wind gusts in excess of 30, 35 miles per hour possible with some of those heavier downpours as they swing through. Satellite across the Caribbean, relatively quiet up through the Bahamas, Cuba, all seeing some decent sunshine to start off the day. Further off down to the south, Belize, Nicaragua, more showers, more storms, more just isolated to scattered about this region, not quite as much as what we have been seeing these previous few weeks. Further eastward, ABC Islands looking good, but as you head through Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago, more showers and active weather there, and then of course, for our region, we're seeing this continuous trough of moisture swinging on through and it's still lingering here for our region, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and those are the places that are expected to see that rain continuing on. Do have a flash flood warning off to our west that was issued for parts of the coastal locations there of Puerto Rico, but luckily not seeing anything across our region. Saddle or future casts, we continue or into our Friday morning. The showers and storms trying to push further and further westward, pushing into Puerto Rico, Hispaniola. Those are the places that are likely see those continuing on, but we're starting to dry on out as we head into the weekend Saturday into Sunday, looking at improving weather picture here region wide 830 PM on our Wednesday, not seeing a whole lot going on, but those showers and storms, I do think they'll be pushed a little bit further eastward as we continue for our Thursday daytime often on showers and some thunderstorms also in the realm of possibilities. The heaviest showers though have now worked further off to the west. Puerto Rico expected to see a little bit more rain than what we're seeing for our region. The winds coming from the east are typical easterly winds. You can see right kind of where they meet. That's where our frontal system is. And as that pushes further and further westward, we'll see more in the way of those easterly winds picking up a bit in magnitude as we continue for our Friday time frame. You can see those uh, intervals of pink and red showing up. This is some of the stronger winds I was talking about associated with those thunderstorms. So while it's clear out, and you don't have a lot of wind. Once that storm comes, it could really ramp up some of those winds. So make sure you are protecting yourselves, putting things away that could get blown around quite easily. As we head for our Thursday time frame in terms of the wave heights, they're expected to increase. And as we head into Friday, uh, definitely on the upper end here of some of the wave heights we have seen without any tropical storms or hurricanes present. A few feet for the open waters, maybe even a little bit more uh, further off to the east where we continue to see a pretty good easterly wind continuing on. Right to our Thursday forecast here, showers, storms across the region, 86 up to 87 degrees. So a little bit cooler than what we're expecting here for our Wednesday night. But as we head into the late week, that's really when we start to see some improvements to the weather picture. We're at 60% chances of rain for both Thursday and Friday. As we head in the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, more in the way of sunshine as that disturbance pushes further and further westward. So got some rain to get through, but looking good heading into the weekend. All right, thanks for that, Adrian.